Esther, what are you doing here? I know it's late, Louis, but I was hoping we could talk. Of course. Is this about the merger you wanted me to take a look at? It is. Oh, well, guess what? I did. And the deal is solid as a rock. So there's no reason for my board to turn it down? No, not a one. <sighs> Shit. Esther, what's going on? Louis, I'm going to tell you something. You have to promise me you're not going to tell anyone, and you're not going to lose your head over it. Esther, I don't understand. Fifteen years ago, Paul Richmond assaulted me. What? But you always said he was your mentor. He stopped being my mentor that night, Louis. We were at a conference in Miami. He asked me to his room. The next thing I knew, his hands were all over me. And when I pushed him away and told him to stop, he got angry, said I'd been leading him on. He started forcing himself on me. Then what happened? I ran out of there as fast as I could, went to my room, and threw up. I can't have him in my company, Louis. No, you can't. Which is why you're going to go to the board right now and tell him what that motherfucker did. No, I am not doing that. Why not? Because it happened 15 years ago. And in case you haven't noticed, women who come forward get put through a meat grinder. I know that, Esther, but... Louis, I just told you what happened. And the first words out of your mouth were, but he was your mentor. You're my brother, and you said that. What do you think everyone else will say? Well, I just can't let him get away with it. Louis, I know you want to rip his head off. But what I need from you is to make this deal go away. Whatever it is you're doing, I got something more important. In that case, I'm all yours. What do you need? A legitimate reason to stop a merger from happening. This is Esther's company. It is. And she used to work for the man that runs the other company, and let's just say they're like oil and water. If that's true, why does he even want to merge with her? Because my sister's a brilliant businesswoman, and the easiest way for a scumbag like that to make money is to leech off for success. Now, do you want to help me solve this or not? Of course I do. Good, because the lawsuit will come up the works, but I don't see any grounds. What about other suitors? No, too late for that. Her board just got proposed to, and no one's walking in with a bigger diamond. Louis, when it comes to diamonds, bigger isn't always better. There's cut, there's color. And there's clarity, which means that 30% premium is compensating for something. Therefore, if we want to tank this deal, we just have to figure out what it is. Louis, what a pleasure to finally meet Esther's brother after all these years. I understand you have some questions regarding the merger. Not here to ask questions, Paul. I'm here to tell you this merger is not happening. Well, that's certainly news to me. Just like it was news to us that your supplier's on the brink of bankruptcy. You're looking for a lifeline, and that's what this is really about. What this is about is two companies that have synergy utilizing their respective resources. Well, you're gonna have to go after someone else's resources, because as of right now, ours are off limits. And I informed your board of the supplier situation, which makes me think, you're not here on behalf of your client, you're here on behalf of your sister. You're damn right I am. Well then, this is inappropriate. Excuse me? I assured the board I won't let her go. Anything beyond that is between she and them. Well, according to company bylaws, we have one day to reject this offer, and I'm triggering that right now. You can't do that without board approval. Well, then I'll find some other loophole, because you're not getting anywhere near my sister's company. Well, then, as far as I'm concerned, it's not your sister's company anymore. It's mine. You piece of shit, I know what you did. And if you don't back off, so help me, I will come right after you. I have no idea what you're referring to. 15 years ago, asshole. Miami, you attacked her, you know you did. That's why you went to her board and not her, because you knew she would never agree. And if that were true, why did she stay with my company for five more years and is only now fabricating this whole thing? I'll tell you why, because she's looking to save her job. So unless you want to defend her from slander, you'll drop this. Now get out of my office before I call security. Thank you.